the Trump administration and House Republicans are pushing a crackdown on food stamps, but their effort to shrink a safety net program that boomed during the Obama era might come at a great cost derailing a massive farm bill that is heavily supported in Trump country. Talks between House Democrats and Republicans on the farm bill broke down earlier this month over proposed work rules for the nutrition program that Democrats say would cut off an estimated 1 million participants a bad sign for the historically bipartisan legislation. For conservatives, the bill offers a rare shot at training and one of the government's biggest and most popular anti-poverty programs through stricter work and eligibility requirements. It tests the first time in decades that a farm bill is being written with Republicans in control of Congress and the White House, and both sides of Pennsylvania Avenue have floated big changes to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, as the food stamp program is officially known. President Donald Trump's 2019 budget made waves last month for proposing to replace half the food stamp benefits families get with a harvest box full of shelf-stable foods part of a broader pitch to cut more than $214 billion from the program over a decade. We're going to keep going at that issue, comma, House Speaker Paul Ryan said last week of entitlement reform. When it comes to the farm bill and other welfare programs on our workforce development program, we can get some good welfare reforms there. Dot. Democrats, however, are refusing to consider extreme. Partisan policies that they say would slash spending on food stamps a bulwark of the social safety net for more than 50 years. The program currently helps more than 40 million low-income Americans buy groceries each month. Support for the status quo also comes from the country's biggest retailers and food companies, who see the program as a substantial chunk of their business. Farm groups, too are unlikely to support big changes, with the understanding they would threaten the whole bill. The standoff in the House Agriculture Committee traditionally one of the least partisan committees in Congress is particularly striking because no legislative text has even been released and farmers battered by falling commodity prices are pressing for quick passage of a new farm bill for potential relief. While the very name, Farm Bill Comic conjures images of tractors and bushels of corn. The $70 billion food stamp program accounts for some 80% of the farm bill's annual price tag and historically has been crucial to secure backing from urban lawmakers who might not otherwise vote for farm subsidies. The sweeping legislation, reauthorized every five years, also covers environmental conservation and water quality, rural development and forestry management as well as billions in subsidies that help farmers deal with risks like price fluctuations and bad weather. The current farm bill expires September 30th. To pass the bill in the House, Agriculture Chairman Mike Conaway, Republican Texas, has to get Democrats on board or else rely on the right flank of the Republican conference, which is generally hostile to both food stamps and farm subsidies. Conservatives are already threatening to bolt. Rep. Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, former chairman of the House Freedom Caucus, told Politico that unless there are real SNAP reforms that significantly reduce the number of recipients well beyond what Conway is reportedly considering the farm bill should just be temporarily reauthorized.